What's up guys, it's Kevin with Scar Audio. We're here at the Scar Audio headquarters. We're gonna make a, um, certified, uncertified, and dynamic power runs on our SMD81 amplifier dyno. This is feeding our signal to the Scar Audio amplifier. This video specifically is focusing on the Scar Audio SK1500.1D. That's our most popular monoblock amplifier. One of the first amplifiers we ever made. Um, so in this video, we're going to do those four tests on it. Like I said, they're right here, the certified run at one ohm, the uncertified run at one ohm, and then the two dynamic runs. We're going to do the dynamic runs okay, at one so ohm and go. half ohm. We're on our amplifier dyno 81 right here, hooked up to a SK1500 by SCAR Audio. We're going to start off with the certified dyno run. As you can see there, it just finished dynoing the SCAR 1500.1. I'm going to go ahead and record this result right here, 1,523 watts at 14.38 volts. So as you can see next up we have the uncertified run at 1 ohm on the SCAR 1500.1. Go back over to our dyno here, get over to the uh, uncertified. There it goes. There it goes, and looks like it just finished up. 1,652 watts. 14.06 volts. All right. All right, guys, so here we go. We got the certified test done, the uncertified test run done. Now we're going to do the two fun tests. Uh, these are the tests I kind of you know, enjoy doing once in a while on our different products, but it's going to be the dynamic power run test. And this is going to test burst power output of the amplifier, in this case, the SK1500.1. Wow, so right off the bat, a very impressive, uh, very impressive number 1,889 watts at 1 ohm. Burst power 1,898 watts at 15.03 volts. All right, guys. Here we go. We got the SK fifteen hundred point one on the SMD amp dyno. We're gonna do a dynamic power half run at half an ohm. Selected. We're gonna click enter. All right. So now we're ready to. Go. Wow, very impressive number two thousand five hundred and thirty nine watts. Uh, you know, at half an ohm, fourteen point five three volts. So at fourteen point five three volts. Again, that's in half an ohm rating. Really just proving the point that these can handle a lot more than rated power. 